Yeah. Gypsy Rose Live. From now on, I'll just bring all my, my stuff without the laces to you then. <laughs> Can you make me some orange juice, please? Yeah. Thank you. Oh, thank you for the galaxy pay. Do I want a boy or a girl? It doesn't matter, either one. I'm just gonna be happy with whichever. Thank you. Thank you. Uh -huh. I just like sipping. <coughs> You want to come join me or are you good? If you want me to. You can come join me if you want. I have a lot. Yeah. I had, um, I have two baby apps on my phone. I have, uh, Flow and I have, uh, Pregnancy Plus and it gives you like a weekly update of what you should, what you should be eating, what you should be drinking. Um, and so for this week, it said like start drinking orange juice. It's really good for you. It's good for the baby. So, which I liked orange juice to begin with. So it's perfect. Mm. Have I ever watched the ad? Only a couple, like a couple of minutes, like 30 minutes of it. 30 minutes of the first episode is all I watched. I think Joey King did an amazing job playing me from what I saw. <clears throat> Thank you, Chelsea, for the galaxy. Did I see, hi, Kenzie. I saw someone say, notice me. Remember when Kenzie used to be our, our couple nickname back in the day? Someone gave us the nickname Kenzie. Who gave us that nickname? I don't know, it was somebody who gave us that nickname. I don't know, I remember. Remember when all, everybody was like mashing couples' names up together? Oh, right. Yeah, right, it was right. like the couple mash. All right, everybody, introducing the one and only, oh the God. Chad himself, I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me get closer. <laughs> what are you talking about? I don't know, I'm just babbling. <laughs> Thank you for the heart puff. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Parker, you wanna come here too? Careful, hold on. Let me get this collar. Parker, hold still. He's still pretty hyper from going out. <laughs> oh, thank you, Julia. And we're good. All right. So, what are some what are some names that you like for a boy and a girl? What are um, some names that you have always thought about? For boy, I like Aiden. Mm -hmm. Um, I haven't really thought more than just that. Yeah. And then for girl, I like Aurora. Mm -hmm. I like. Those are the only two I really thought. Of. Yeah. <laughs> I um remember back in the day also. Or like a family name. Yeah. Yeah. What about you? Um, I mean, back in the day, whenever we were writing letters to each other, mm. I, I made like a list, and it, it was like all A names: Ariana, Aria, Alina. Alina. Like it was all like A names. Mm -hmm. And one point you wanted. To you had a boy's name that's your middle name. Right. And then I was like, no, because my brother Dylan was dating a girl with the same name as his middle name. And well, I'm like, that's, that's a little, not a problem, now that they anymore. broke it up, it's kind of awkward now. So I'm like, no. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> it was like weird. <laughs> I can't see your chat, so. Oh, can we bring No, 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 I don't need to. You can just read the question. All right. Oh. All right. Been watching your show. Thank you so much. No, I don't have any kids. I said I did see that question. Okay. 
No, this this is his first one. Oh, thank you, Fifi, for the llama. <laughs> Oh, thank you Someone for... Someone said, does my family come from the UK or the Netherlands? Neither. My dad's Turkish and my mom is American. <laughs> I really want to do that, like, um, family history thing, like the uh, 23 and Me yeah. type of thing. What do, you think? what do you think you got? Well, I know on my dad's side, I have Native American. Um... The tribe that we belong to is called the Biloxi Chittimacha. That's a name. <laughs> it is, it is. And uh, so I know I have Native American. Um, I mean, other than that, I really don't know. Yeah, I mean, like, I my mom to. was Cajun. My dad's Kuda ass, which- I like a nationality. C Cajun, <laughs> I don't know. Cajun's a culture of all this house. I mean, I would think like, I mean, Cajuns and can you know came from that's like Canada. I'm southern. I'm southern. That's I'm southern. That's what I am. <laughs> that's I'm southern. <laughs> <laughs> but like, do you know? I'm gonna give you a quiz. Do you know the difference between Cajun and Kunak? I've never even heard of that second okay, word. So, so <laughs> what you say? Say it again. <laughs> So it's not a cuss word, guys. This is a term. All right, so Cajun is a culture, but Kunas is like, like what, like redneck. Mm. You know? Okay. It's like what? Yeah, I've never heard of that. Before. Yeah, people from down the bayou, they and we say down the bayou instead of down the bayou. That's how I would say it. Down the bayou. Down the bayou. No, it's down the bayou. Right. That's if how you, we if you say have it. an accent like your dad. Yeah, yeah, it's down the bayou. Like, thing about like Louisiana accents is like, it, it's a thing. Like, a lot of some like some letters are not pronounced. Like, m like my family, they have a horrible time pronouncing the T H the th th sound. So instead of saying that, they will say that D A T. Right. That's what all Louisiana. It's just like say. it's an accent thing. I don't know. Who that? Who that? <laughs> What do our tattoos mean? Well, mine, um, the Yun alone represents life's journey and the twists and turns that life has. And it has a fleur de lis on top, which of course is the symbol for French culture and also New Orleans. Um, the Husky is a matching tattoo with him that we got. Knows about that one. <laughs> so these <laughs> tattoos are legendary. <laughs> and they just symbol our bond. Our husky bond. <laughs> husky bond. <laughs> no, we are not living together. But it's nice that he lives close to the, you know, close to where I live so I can come and spend time with him, which is really nice. Hi, Olivia. Parker. Give me a ball. Can you grab his ball? Is the, is the squeaker broken? He breaks the squeaker within the first 20 minutes every time I buy him a new ball. Even if I get him like the ones for meant for like tough chewers, <coughs> yeah. he breaks it within just a few minutes. Aww. I'm surprised he catches it every single time. He's well trained. He is. Look at that. Look at, that look, at look at the focus in his eyes. There we go. Good boy. <laughs> Give me some of your orange juice. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> hey, burger baby. Why don't you we want live... to see the dog? You want to see the dog? Okay. Okay. Uh, thank here, you, Clementine, for the here. galaxy. Okay. Come here, Parker. Come. Come in. You gonna sit down? He doesn't know which way to go around the table. Oh, so you come oh, to me? Okay. There we go. Hey, Ray, good boy. This is Parker. Stand. Uh, there you go. Oh, now he wants to leave. <laughs> there you go. Okay. 
Yeah. I'm done with that. There you go. He's he's done with it. <laughs> he's out of here. <laughs> he is part German Shepherd and part Husky. He's, I think. I mean, he does have like the his markings have like the German Shepherd markings, but his face, like his face, has Husky. So. Yeah, but he's like mostly German Shepherd looking. Mm -hmm. Uh, Chrissy is texting me saying she's watching <laughs> with your dad. Oh, hey mom. Hey dad. <laughs> Are you pregnant? Oh yes. Very, <laughs> very pregnant. <laughs> very pregnant. Thank you for the... Hey, thank you, Mindy. Hi, Jaina. <coughs> Say hi, Mrs. Yeah, well she texted me saying she's watching. <laughs> thank you for the galaxy. I'm young. My due date is January 22nd. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's, that's a cool dinosaur. dinosaur. Thank you, Tanya. So, we were talking about wanting to go and get, because our, our ultrasound pictures are from when I was seven weeks. Is that, is that right? Mm, I think it tells you on the... Yeah. Yeah. Harper, move out the way. All right, I'm gonna, I'm I think gonna... it was eight. I thought it was seven. No, don't hold it up to the camera. Just read it. I just read it. I can't read that small. I can read it. It would have said, like, how many? Need some light? No, I got it. Okay. It was June 10th. June 10th? Yeah. I was. Which would have made you. I don't know. <laughs> it says it. Does it? Yeah. Hold on. It really is, like, microscopic. It really is. Yeah. <laughs> You need like a flashlight or something to see that. I I want to say I I could have swore it was like seven weeks. So anyway, back to my story. So, um, we want to get an updated ultrasound because, you know, back when I had the ultrasound, the baby looked basically like a little chicken. It was really really tiny. But this, you know, now that I am almost 14 weeks. Eight weeks. I was eight weeks. Okay. Eight weeks. I knew that it was somewhere around there. Um, so now that we want to get like a new ultrasound that it actually looks like a baby now. So, um. What about the 40 one or the 3D one or something like the, that? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So, okay. so peekaboo, no, it's not peekaboo. It's sweet pea oh. 3D. Um, we're gonna get a sweet P 3D 4D um, ultrasound done. Are we waiting for like a 16 weeks or something like that? Or I put it. I put it around that time. Yeah. So I booked the appointment for it. Now this one's only gonna be for a black and white um, one, and then like later on, like I'll say 25 weeks, 26 weeks. We can get the 4D one, and there's even a new one that's it's in like an eight. <laughs> I don't know if it's 8D or 8K, something like that. But I don't think 8D. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but you can see it like it's like a picture, mm. like a color picture, okay. as if the baby was right out, in front of you. Like right in front of okay. you. It's like 8K or 8D, something like that. I, think I read it on the 8K. I read it on the website, so it it would be cool to do. <laughs> yeah, it'll be fun. There's so much I don't know about. <laughs> I researched a lot of stuff. So okay. 3D, yeah. 3D. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Some more orange juice. Yeah. Let me put this back. Real quick. I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna go look at my lipstick since everybody's like asking me what my lipstick is. One of your 30 different yeah. styles of lipstick. Yeah, actually, I will go get that lipstick. So, to tell you guys what I'm using, keep them entertained. <laughs> just talk. You should have just brought it with you. <laughs> Thanks for the well wishes, guys. It can even be eight dimension, which isn't humanly possible. <laughs> That's cool. Thanks, guys. I don't know what this 
Do I live in Dallas? No, not anymore. If you can read what 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 is that? It's this right here. What is that? It has a C. Is that a C T. C T. Right. I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> this is what it looks like, guys. And it has C T on it. I'm not really sure what that. Is. Char okay, Charlotte Tilbury. That's what it is. What's the shade? Can you see what the shade is? It's really small. I know. Cat walking. Cat walking. What it says. That's what my lipstick is. I told you guys, I just, I use the product and then I'm like, oh, this is pretty. <laughs> All right, I gotta pee, so keep them entertained again. <laughs> Take it with you. <laughs> no, God, no. <laughs> I want to pee. Yeah, now it's my life. Hello? Hey. Mm hmm Okay. No, I don't. I think I do, yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm on the phone with uh, Christy. She's trying to tell me how to add Brie as a mod. Or can you know oh, how to do I it? Oh, I put Brie as a mod. Okay. I she says that she's not. I, I put her on there. She's listed. She said that she just got off the phone with her. Okay, I'll try again. See? It says that she is. Unless. That's her. Hey, put her on the phone with me. Hey, I've, I've got her. Just, just take the phone. <laughs> I got her uh, Zaddy Don't Lie account as the mom. Okay. Okay, yeah, I mean, I could see her comments. Okay. Okay, I will. All right, love you. Love you too. Bye. Hi, Jill. Thanks for <coughs> watching. <laughs> Who? <laughs> um... Christy's cousin. Oh, hi, Jill. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and Bree's laughing so hard. <laughs> well, at least we figured it out. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, I want to see something. Oh, no, I'm not ready to touch anything. Oh, you're fine. There's too much going on up here. <laughs> Thank you no, so much. Is that? Yeah, that's that's how many likes we got. Thank you so much. We are up to three point six million likes. Thank you guys. Don't show. Right. Don't show. <laughs> okay. I'm oh, I can add her. <laughs> You're tired. Oh, now you want to take a nap? When I asked I you earlier, the, I was in the middle of stuff. I was cleaning this apartment. <laughs> I'm like, take a nap with me. We'll watch a movie. That's all you want to do. That's I all you know. ever want to do. Things I'm have ready. to get done. <laughs> I'll take care of the rest. You go nap as much as you need. Think burger beans. Who's that? I'll put I'll put Planny on there as a mod too. Who? Planny Bunny. She's one of my friends. I'll just have a bunch of mods in here. Alright. Add. Confirm. All right, you're now a mod planty bunny. <laughs> Say hi to Harley. Hi, Harley. Mm. See, I got bit. Come oh, in. yeah, I think that's be good. Yeah. Got you a couple times. These Louisiana mosquitoes are eating me alive. You want to see my legs? <laughs> you see mine? <laughs> <laughs> Every time I go out on your dad's porch, Not come back inside with 10 mosquito bites. That's how it'd be. You need to get like, um... Bug spray? Bug spray. We have some at the house. Every time you go on the porch, I'll just douse you down. 
purpose. Thank you, Luna. Thank you, Blake. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Margo. That's so cute. So what are we doing for the rest of the day? Oh, I see a nap in the future. Okay. So after a nap, um, I want to continue watching Game of Thrones. Okay, what season are you on now? Four? No, we just finished four, I think. Okay. No, I think we just finished three. No, we just finished four. Okay. So, because I was... Whichever one, well, I don't want to say because it's technically a spoiler. <laughs> I'm sh it, Game of Thrones is a very old show right now, guys. I guess so it's true. Everybody's Whichever probably one, already watched it. <laughs> Everybody's seen Season it now. Four, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you want me to make you for dinner? Mm, I don't know. I'm in one of those moods that, like, nothing sounds good. Maybe because you just Thank ate. Thank you, Brittany, <laughs> for the galaxy. I don't know, just nothing sounds good right now. I don't want fries. Thank God. I don't, <laughs> I don't want chicken. I feel like I, I've, at this point, I just feel like I've ate everything in creation and just nothing sounds good. I'll make you gumbo for the first time. Okay, that sounds good. I never made it before. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> I can eat gumbo all the time though. I, know. I, won't, I won't get tired of gumbo. <laughs> Maybe we can stop at uh, one of the restaurants. No, I want to make it. Honey, you know how it. hard making gumbo is? No. You, you, my dad should teach you first. I'm sure it's not that hard. Dad, I know you're watching this. Throw in some sausage. Tell him how make hard it rice. is. <laughs> 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 I have every faith in you once you've learned from an expert. I don't even know how to cook gumbo. But we do have that um, that recipe book. Where's that recipe book? It's right there on the bottom right. But that one has like 500 ingredients and like well, that's because 30 it, steps. Yeah, that's because it's telling you how to make a roux from scratch. But we have the roux the, that in comes the in a jar. jar. Yeah. So we're good. And we got this Cajun cookbook right here. And then me and Christy has been taking turns picking recipes out of and they're all impossible <laughs> they're not impossible they're just very detailed about how to make it look at this look at this seafood lasagna yeah. that. okay that doesn't even look this good this would take a whole day to <laughs> make doesn't even look good all right i'll find the gumbo one you keep doing your thing okay so this is the one that i would have to make you is that chicken first of all it makes 20 cups i guess mm -hmm. i could just cut it in half Okay, well, this is how Louisianians do it. All right, so. Do it. Do it. <laughs> this is how we do it now, okay? I love how your accent comes out, like, around here. <laughs> no, pop up in the book, instant accent. <laughs> <laughs> Talking to Christy, instant accent. Instant accent, I swear. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's okay. Sometimes when I'm talking to, um, like, my southern cousins, I'll start to talk in like an accent too. It just like, no I feel like that's way. normal. Yeah. Like a slight one. Yeah. Well, I, I remember when you used to do the different accents for me? Yeah. That was like my <laughs> favorite thing. I'm not doing that now. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so this, what you do is you make a gumbo and then you don't have to eat it right away. Like you don't have to eat the whole pot right away. So it says it makes 20 cups. Mm -hmm. So what you do is you store it in the ice box and then you just make a new pot of rice for later. Okay. So oh. I want you to ask your chat, what do you guys call the bottom? Uh, what do you call a fridge? <laughs> All right, guys, what do you call a fridge? I mean, that's a weird way to ask the no. question because if you were to say fridge. But who, well, who, this okay, is how. better question is who, who, who here calls a fridge an ice box? And why would you call a fridge an ice box? Ice box? And then what do you call the top part? <laughs> call it a freezer. What would you call the top part? Um, yeah, I call it a freezer. freezer. So, you yeah, call, so, so the, the, there's a so freezer the top, and an ice box. Yeah, so it's the freezer and the ice box. Would you put ice in no. a fridge? No.
Okay, so why do you call it an icebox? That's just how I grew up saying it. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. That's how we grew up saying it. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, fridge and freezer. <laughs> fridge and freezer. the party coming up we could make that yeah <clears throat> um i mean it is in the middle of august so i think like little sandwiches and stuff like that guys like gumbo is good for christmas and thanksgiving is that so, right <clears throat> yes for christmas dinner gumbo Thanksgiving stuff. We didn't do a meal like that. Okay. So growing up, that that wasn't like a thing. Like, yeah, we celebrated Thanksgiving, Happy Thanksgiving, call your family, whatever the freak. But yeah. actually, the actual meal, we didn't have all that. Mm. So I went to prison, and like for Thanksgiving, um, a church would donate turkeys to the prison, and so they would serve the turkey that was donated with um, pumpkin pie. So I didn't start getting a Thanksgiving meal until I went to prison. That sucks. <laughs> it's the opposite for me. It's just my life. Yeah. <laughs> it was normal to me, I guess. Well, then this Thanksgiving, we got to make sure that you have a real one. It's like a whole nine yards. The whole traditional, <laughs> yeah. No gumbo on Thanksgiving. <laughs> thank you. Isn't it Sprite or Spirit? <laughs> Either one. Thank you, Sprite or Spirit. <laughs> Are you laughing about? I don't know. <laughs> Some of the comments are funny. I know. <laughs> I know he is so sweet to me. He's been taking such good care of me. He doesn't. Sorry, let, I remember that. He doesn't <laughs> let. <laughs> when we go grocery shopping, he he picks out the lightest freaking bag for me to carry, and then he here he is with all twenty bags or something in his hands. So he's like, you're "You can carry this little bag." You're pregnant. <laughs> you'd be carrying nothing. <laughs> and then he always is on my ass about drinking water. I swear to God, drinking yeah, water. Yeah. Speaking of which, when's the last time you had some? <laughs> <laughs> Here we go again. It's not, it's not a normal, a normal day, day with Ken if he doesn't make me drink just water. Just a little rocks glass of water. <laughs> I got this water filtration system set up for you. You never so touch it. Water filtration. <laughs> All right. There you go. That is a lot of water. <laughs> well, less juice, more water. Oh, okay. There we go. Got a whole H2O. And your protein. If I drink all this, can I get a cookie? <laughs> no, cookie you want one? No, cookie comes after I drink all the water. Okay, sure. Good. And gives me incentive to drink the water. Thanks for <laughs> doing my thinking. <laughs> You're welcome. Five steps ahead. Saying it for me. Are we going to the Taylor Swift concert? No. She wishes. I wish. The tickets are super expensive. And I know it's going to be super crowded. So. Yes. Oh, there we go. Oh, look. You got to mark it. There we go. I'm not even halfway there. Here, I can help you. <laughs> I feel like you're joking. Thank you, Max, for the galaxy. Who's next to you? Ken. Ken. The one and only Chad. <coughs> Stop saying that. I know. Okay. <laughs> 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 you nom nomming on me? <laughs> If you catch the names of the gifts before I do, let me know. Okay. I'm terrible about that stuff. I mean, it's just never ending. 
I know. Thanks, Levinar. Thanks, Adplay. Thanks, Anna. Thanks, Lizzie. That's halfway, right? Just finish it. It's like one goal. I know. I got this. <laughs> Thank you. See, Serenity? Have... Serenity. I think. I couldn't really read it. I know. I'm terrible. That's the one thing I'm so bad about reading names. Steph, thank you. We do have names picked out, but we're not going to reveal them yet. Unless you already have. I don't know if you did. No, but we just talked about it. Well, I know, but we didn't say which one we chose. Because my pregnancy brain rubbed off with you. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what do they call it? Sympathy symptoms? Maybe. Oh, yeah, that would be fun. Let's do a poll. Let's do a poll to see how many of you think it's going to be a girl and how many of you think it's going to be a boy. So let me go to the poll and obviously this is how it's going to be. Red is for girl and blue is for boy. You know how to do that? Yes. Because okay, I don't. <laughs> All right. I did it. Polls. There we go. Quick poll. This one. Okay. All right. Ready, guys? Girl is red and boy is blue. What is it gonna be? <laughs> Thanks, thank, thank you, Stephanie. Stephanie. Oh, girl's in the lead. By a lot. By a lot. <laughs> I've been doing all of like the, like the silly little wives tale stuff, like putting like the, um, like a, a, ring, the, on a ring on a chain, and if it swings back and forth, it's a boy. If it circles, it's a girl. Um, another one is you take baking soda and you pee in it. <laughs> it's kind of weird, and then it's supposed to fizz. That's another one. Um, but, but you know what's crazy is at the end of the day, these are just wives' tales. I've read that they have absolutely no pull over what the gender could be. <laughs> Right. No. 14.5k to 6k. Okay. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Thanks, Sarah. Thank you, Sarah. Ellie. Thank you, Ellie. That's a name I like for a girl, actually. Ellie. Ellie. I forgot what character is named Ellie. Wade for a boy. Wade? That's kind of cool. No, I was just reading it. Oh, what do okay. you think? <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was thinking of... Um, Wade Wilson. Yes, what is that from? Deadpool. Yes, that's what I was thinking of. I'm like, what does that sound so familiar? The movie we're going to see next week. <laughs> yeah, my birthday is next week. Sure is. Six days. Mm. You'll be 33. Oh. Whoa, Parker. It's like a seal. <laughs> yeah, it's like a seal. Oh, thank you, Abby. <laughs> oh, that one's cool. Mm -hmm. Muriel, thank you. Aw, thank you, Marcus. That's really sweet. 33, goodness. And I'll be 32. Mm. Two months later. <laughs> Alright, look at that. I was talking and I'm getting it down. Almost there. <laughs> Gotta drink water. Oh, but I did, oh God, this this is absolutely gonna drive me crazy. But I did read on that um, sweet P3D ultrasound thing mm -hmm. for the photos. I have to drink a gallon of water every day for two weeks. Good luck with that. I would love to see you drink even. I'm gonna have to. I hope you like, do. I'll help you. Yeah. I'll get you one of those like, like gallon jugs, um, or like a half gallon jug, and you just drink two of those two a day. Those. Yeah. Okay. Or you can set up a timer on your phone. Mm -hmm. That's what I do sometimes. Like twenty ounces every two hours. It's mm -hmm. a lot. You'll yeah. be peeing quite crazy, but I already do. <laughs> Thanks, oh, thank you for the galaxy. Yeah, that's another good thing too, is like, we can get those like Mio things for you. So you can, or like electrolyte powders to mm -hmm. make them to just make like taste, taste better. better. Yeah, mm -hmm. that might help you. 
Yeah. I think I should probably stop doing that. <laughs> You're going to break the wall. <laughs> oh, one of my neighbors going to get pissed. <laughs> Oh, thank you for this one. My goodness, we're almost at five million likes, guys. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Come on, Parker. Should I show them the um the sheets that I got? The baby sheets? Yeah. Yeah, you can show them. Okay. I'll grab them for you. <clears throat> okay, go ahead. So, um, I know we don't know the gender yet, but um, I am a huge Harry Potter fan. So is Ken. <clears throat> We're also big Star Wars fans. So I think this, <laughs> this is honestly more for our enjoyment than I think for the babies. But um, when I came across um, at Kids Pottery Barn, I came across these baby sheets for the crib that is Star Wars themed and then another Jesus set. Jesus Christ, I didn't even realize how many you bought. I bought two of each, so. <laughs> the whole package. Yeah. <laughs> so, I went to Kids Pottery Barn and I came across these. That's Harry Potter crib sheets. Um, so this one has like the castle on it. And so if one Harry Potter one wasn't enough, we got <laughs> two. <laughs> because that one had the castle, and this one has Hedwig, and it has like stars and moons. And then, and then I came across the Star Wars ones. And so this one's the Baby Yoda one. <laughs> had to get that one. And then another one. <laughs> and then another one. For adult um, Yoda. <laughs> <laughs> no, this one has R2-D2, and it has the Death Star, and the TIE Fighter. Okay, that's Girl Yoda. <laughs> Girl Yoda. The girl Yoda. Girl Yoda. Yoda. Okay. <laughs> and then, <laughs> you're gonna whack me in the face. And then, um, here's the blankets. So this one is the Star Wars one. It has R2-D2 on it. And then? And then this one's the Harry Potter one where, this one's really pretty. It has Hedwig in it. It that has the Patronus. Nice. You can tell we're nerds. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, Kids Pottery Barn is really nice. So um, I feel like, okay, so if any of y'all are nerds out there, you guys are gonna love this conversation. So what house, like he is Slytherin house. I am uh -huh. Gryffindor. So those, if you watch the movies, you read the books, they are opposing houses. Um, <laughs> I don't, I don't know how that. he's a Slytherin. Um, what do you want our kid to be? I want a Ravenclaw kid. I want like a smart, you know, intelligent, witty kid who studies and does everything right. Or a Gryffindor kid. Okay, I want a Gryffindor. Okay. Now we'll see. No, Gryffindor would be. I think Hufflepuff never gets any love. Like Hufflepuff <laughs> is a good house. Hufflepuff doesn't get any love because most of the. the the people, I guess, I don't know. I mean, I do you know anything I, about I, Hufflepuffs? I think people just focus on the animals and like, they're like, oh, it's, you know, I want to be a lion versus a whatever. I don't even know what Hufflepuff it's, is. It's, um, I know what it is, but I just have to. I forget. A weasel? Is it a weasel? I don't think so. Badger? It's a badger. It's a badger. It's a badger. Right. Okay, now that you say it, you're right. <laughs> it's a badger. So, you're Hufflepuff? Okay. I don't know much. We don't know much about Hufflepuffs. Like, what kind of traits do they have? I forget. I mean, J.K. Rowling explained it, and it was a good, like, video clip. But, uh -huh. uh, anyway, I think they know. They Cedric don't was well. a Hufflepuff. Yeah, I don't and know. He was I don't brave know all the traits, and all that stuff, so. Because I'm not one. I only focus on myself. <laughs> well, I'm not sure be a Slytherin or him a Slytherin. Like, It'll be no, a Ravenclaw. I can feel it. Our kid's going to be a Ravenclaw. Because isn't Ravenclaw, like... Kind of Gryffindor, kind of Slytherin, kind of. I don't Ravenclaw's think so. like the middle ground. I think they're all kind of their own thing. I think yeah, I mean, they're just like the intelligent, the the witty, the yeah. the book readers. I don't know why Hermione wasn't one because she kind of fits that character. Because I or think, that house. Uh, because I think she had like massive bravery or something. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Anyway, what did you go on talking about? Tangent about Harry Potter. 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 <laughs> us going on a tangent <laughs> anyway so mm. Mm. all right i'm almost done with this water guys i'm proud of you 
drink, drink, drink the water. I'm gonna make you another one in an hour. No! <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> Done with the water. Finally. Here, okay. give it. Thank you. Okay. I don't like water. <coughs> Getting used. Getting used to drinking a lot of water is new for me. My uh, my diet of what I used to drink was mostly soda in the past, so definitely cleaning that. cleaning my system up a little bit. <laughs> oh, okay. So I want to answer this. So um, when the <laughs> Parker, do you he lost his ball uh, because it's under the couch. Yeah. Oh, that I can sucks. Get it. <clears throat> okay, so. I want to answer this question that a lot of people had was if you watch the was it the last episode yeah the last episode last week oh, that water gave me hiccup Can I hear you? no no scaring me <laughs> <laughs> um if you watched the last episode last week um when i was packing my things at ryan's apartment there was a baby onesie that was a Star Wars baby Yoda onesie in the closet. And so <laughs> you're just throwing it in different places. I don't get it. <clears throat> so anyway, um, I bought that onesie when Ryan and I had went to Walmart and I just thought it was cute. Like, I'm like, oh, this is so cute. When we have future kids or, or whatever, when I, I want to get it for my future kid. Um, I was not pregnant at that time. But I like the little onesie because I'm like, what happens if they, that's so cute. What happens if when I finally do get pregnant and we have a kid, they don't have this for sale anymore. So I bought it. And I even talked about that in an interview that Ryan and I had did. Um, I think back in February, it may have been February, we did an interview where him and I were on the couch talking, <clears throat> I think about the prison confessions, maybe. <clears throat> I think we were still doing promotion for the prison confessions at that time. And uh, he actually mentioned, he's like, yeah, she's she's even buying baby clothes and stuff like that. So, I mean, we talk about that, um, but I think people were kind of shocked because it's like, I am pregnant now. And they're like, well, was she pregnant before? But no, I just wanted to buy it because I thought it was cute. <laughs> So there's no no deeper meaning behind it other than I thought it was cute and wanted it for a future kid. I didn't even take it with me. It's still in Ryan's closet. <clears throat> okay. Parker, Parker got water. He's, He's got water. He's got his ball. <laughs> What is the show called? Life After Lockup. Well, it's Gypsy Rose, Life After Lockup. Only one episode left. Tomorrow, guys. So excited. <laughs> Why didn't I take everything from Ryan? Um, well, because when I, I went to get things, I just wanted to get the basic necessities. And I think Christy kind of wanted to help me get as much as I could. I don't know if she thought maybe, I don't know, the chances of me going back to Ryan were very slim. So she's like, let's get as much as we can now while we're here. Um, the majority of the stuff I got, but there was a painting that was in the dining room by the dining room table. Um, I, I believe he took it off now um, and he replaced it with a wrestling portrait. But it's a portrait, a big portrait of uh, the St. Louis Cathedral in New Orleans. And so that's a portrait that, <clears throat> that's mine, that eventually I'm gonna have to get. I have a couple of dresses that's still there, a couple of pairs of shoes that's still in, in the closet. Um, the majority of everything else I got though, so. <clears throat> Excuse me, drink some more. Look at that, we're approaching almost six million likes. That's crazy. <laughs> well, 
What breed is Parker? He's German Shepherd Husky. Mm-hmm. And he's a sweetheart. He's a gentle giant. <laughs> he would not protect us at all if someone broke in here. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Mom. <laughs> How did you feel when you met Kim K? I was very nervous. Um, <clears throat> they didn't um, show it in, on our show, but um, when I went to meet Kim. Oh, that's a big one. oh, thank you. Did you see what it was from? Nope. No, oh, dang it. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, when I, the night that I went to meet Kim, um, we were also simultaneously filming for our show as well. So our show had captured like my reaction to meeting Kim, like the fallout afterwards. He drooled on me. Wow, his <laughs> saliva like projected on me. <laughs> um, and uh, so, but uh, Lifetime chose not to put that in there because there, there was, Lifetime could not put everything that we filmed in the show. So the amount of content that Lifetime obtained was so much. I mean, we were filming for what, four or five months? Five, four months? I think so. Um, and so they captured a lot, but I think they, they captured a lot to find a story arc. And so I think the story arc started off capturing my life and my everyday life. And then, um, the story arc eventually became you. Mm. Well, it's coming to an end now. <laughs> so, and you know, I give I give Lifetime mad props for for sticking through um, my journey with me and taking taking my my life story and putting it out there and really getting a lot of awareness about just I guess. In, in a bigger hindsight, like in a bigger scope, not only what trauma survivors have to go through, but also um, parolees. Um, parolees don't have it easy. And especially since my life is so high profile, um, it is 10, 20 times harder to be a parolee. Um, and so talking about how it's hard to get jobs um, when haters online want to falsely report me for when I'm doing nothing wrong but just because they simply don't like me I get reported to my PO mm -hmm. um, and of course my PO knows because if I get a false report put on me he talks to me and he he has to he has to check in with me and says we got a report today so there were times in the past that I'm like yeah I, I did this or no, it's completely false. Mm -hmm. And we talk about it. He sends a report back to Missouri and then that's, that's how my parole works. Mm -hmm. So, you know, struggle. it's a struggle. Um, yeah. <clears throat> and like it showed on the show, it's like my parole officer, he gets a lot of calls and I'm still free because all of the reports have been either false or I have been given a warning about pretty much so i mean it just makes it so hard on parole but just one year left yeah one year left and then it's it's fine but um i'm proud of lifetime for putting those parts in the show where i did struggle i did break down you know my parole officer called me about um social media and it wasn't <coughs> keep coughing gosh um, some water? <laughs> yeah, no, no water. I'm gonna drink some juice. <laughs> Get some flavor in there. <laughs> um, but like, I'm proud. I'm proud of Lifetime for for spotlighting the times that I did break down because of that situation. And so, whenever I got the call from my parole officer talking about an advisement to get off social media, mm -hmm. now they did not. I noticed that in the episode. They basically, you know, shown all that stuff that I had to get off of social media, but they didn't show how I got back on. Hmm. So, um, I, when I moved and I left Ryan, I got transferred to a new location. And so my parole officer that I had in Lake Charles is not the same parole officer that I have now. 
So the, the parole officer that I have now is aware that he's like, as long as you're not being extra threatening people on social <coughs> media, I'll let you be on social media. Yeah. Just be careful what you do. Be careful what you say. You know, just be careful. Right. And so that's when I was given permission to like get back on social media. So, but they didn't show that in the show. So yeah. I think it confuses some people about that. They had to condense that. a lot. Yeah. yeah. They had to condense a lot. <clears throat> All right. You show them your makeup. My makeup? Yeah. Like Aren't you just talking about how you wanted to show them your makeup a minute ago? Oh, yeah. There's just so much. And it's not organized. It's just a drawer. Yeah. Like. Well, maybe not then. <laughs> There's like random stuff in this drawer. <laughs> Thank you, Judy. I know. I saw. I got to 10 million followers. I was stuck on 9.8 for the longest. And then I jumped up to 10 mil finally. Which is awesome. Oh, does it ever stop raining in this state? Uh, no, not around this season. It rains a lot. <laughs> <clears throat> Will there be a season two? You never know. We don't know yet. How long am I able to stay at Ken's? A couple nights. Three, four, five nights. Are you guys roughhousing over there? Of course. <laughs> I hear you guys. They roughhouse so much. He's, get, he's getting his ass kicked. <laughs> Look at this. Okay, all right, here. <laughs> all right, let go. I always play like that. <laughs> One time, I think uh, Parker had knocked him in the head. Oh, yeah, he had, but it's real good. He's a big dog. <laughs> Hi, Taylor. <clears throat> What's my favorite color? Lavender. <laughs> He needs to go to the dog park soon. Well, if it's not raining, I'd love to take him. Uh, all right. <clears throat> well, I'm, I'm probably going to get off here and yeah. go take a nap. I wanted to do that. You want to watch a movie? Yeah. I wanted to take the scrubby thing and scrub all that. <laughs> 